Growing up on the Cape, my best friend's family owned a country store, and I knew it's something that I always wanted to do. Met this one vendor who made all handmade products by people with disabilities. And I knew at that time that's something that I can do. So I had chosen to have everything in the store be handmade, eco-friendly, fair trade, and direct trade. Going to LaFelle was my first exposure to world beyond small community I grew up in. I met young women from all over the world and I became close with a few of them. They would share with me the stories of their families and their friends, filled with joy and laughter and, and family community. But also we talked about the hardships that their families and friends live, the lack of income, the lack of food, the lack of housing. And that really made an impact on me. And I knew at that time that I really wanted to help people. I went on my first service trip back in 2011. As we were there, word got out that I was there and a woman came to me with this little black bag filled with bracelets. I knew at that moment, this is what I could do. So I bought all the bracelets. It, it, it was a fair price. It wasn't that much for me, but I knew this was gonna make a huge difference in her life. This is how she was going to be able to feed her family for the month. And I knew right then, this is what I'm meant to do. And this is how I can help other people. So with that, I came home and I started Say El Cambio. I've always believed that one person can make a difference in lives of others. And that's really what I try to do every day. I hope I can inspire others to do the same. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Altour. This is my life after LaSalle. We'll